everybody, it's Carmel here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my crafty corner here on YouTube. Thank you so much for stopping by. I have a project here today for Saturday morning makes and it's a very belated Saturday morning makes, admittedly. Uh, I did try to film this one on Friday and yesterday and had to abandon. So hopefully the filming will go uh, better today and I'll get it posted and uploaded. If you don't know what I'm talking about or you've never heard of Satmore Makes, it's an open collab hosted by Gillian Norwood and Jill is Greenwood Girl Cards here on YouTube and she set up this collab a couple of years ago. I think she's actually heading into a third year with Satmore Makes now, but she set up this collab as just a, a fun way for people to share what they've been working on for the week and upload a video or photos to Instagram, just sharing whatever projects you've been working on for the week. So that's what that more makes is all about and jill is a phenomenal artist and crafter herself and it's a really fun collab because anything goes whatever type of art you like to create whether it's painting or paper craft or sewing or diamond painting whatever it may be everybody's welcome to upload and share what they've been working on so i'm going to link jill's channel in the description below and i'll also link the hashtag if you just type that hashtag into the youtube search bar it'll bring you to uh, all of the other channels who participate in satmore mix so you'll find all kinds of inspiration over there and be sure and check out jill's channel as well because if you haven't seen jill's work before you are in for a treat when you visit her channel she's phenomenal and so inspiring and a really really wonderful supporter of all artists here on youtube so be sure and pay her a visit and show her some crafty love so let me show you the projects i've been working on i made some adorable little mini albums i'm just going to show you very quickly first what i used to make them both of the albums were made using this die set here um i love this die set it's a really really old one i must have this for well, maybe four or five years maybe even more off the top of my head i think this came from the alina craft store on Ali, but I'm not, I wouldn't be 100% sure because it is quite old. It's a really great set. You can make two different size albums and I've made both sizes for this week's projects. You also get this layering piece here, which is nice for the larger album. And if you have other heart dies in your stash, you can layer up for the smaller one. It may have actually come with a smaller layering piece, a smaller heart die. Uh, I can't remember, but I just use other dies that I have in my stash. So both of the albums were made using all doodlebug paper and it's mostly this collection here this is the new valentine's one it's lots of love and i love this one it is adorable really really cute and i used a lot of uh, love notes which is i think it was last year's valentine's collection from them as well i used a lot of that as well and some older ones as well but i'll show you the albums and you can see how i put them together and i'll show you the, the bigger one first and i love this one this is just adorable it's not a dog themed album in any way i just thought this uh, puppy cabochon was perfect for the cover and the color as well because i chose this paper for the front cover and it just it was a it was a match i used a heart die for my stash here and cut a small layer and cut it in the same paper that i used on the spine and uh, it's a bit of a plainer paper than the cover paper so the puppy would uh, would pop out a little bit more i added some enamel heart stickers here and some other puffy stickers here and this little cute always puffy sticker is from uh, rosie studio i didn't laminate the cover it looks laminated but i actually just cut a, a, an overlay in acetate and applied my my stickers on my cabbage on to that so inside then I uh, fussy cut these little envelopes and note pages from one of the sheets in the collection and, and just stuck them on there. This is another puffy sticker from Rosie Studio. Love this paper. It's just so cute. So this is an acetate page here. I love to add um, acetate or vellum pages to my albums and things like that just to break it up a little bit and make it a little bit different. And it also looks super, super cute. <laughs> the stickers. I love these puffy stickers. Uh, these are new, these heart puffies from Doodlebug as well. I I picked up a couple of packs of them and I've ordered some more as well in different colours, but they're really, really cute. I love this page. They're just balloons are just adorable and the little smiley heart. <laughs> I love those sheets in Doodlebug collections where they give you a sheet with all the icon images from the collection. I love those big and small. I love the 12 by 12s and the little uh, six by sixes i just think they're super cute i used more heart dies for my stash and did some layering here and added this adorable sticker and a sweetheart sentiment sticker as well i think this is from made with love that that sticker if i'm not mistaken some more enamel hearts this teeny tiny envelope was made using a die for my stash and i ought to, if jill hi jill if you're watching you're gonna love this jill because i added a teeny teeny tiny tag jill loves her tiny tags and she always has one in a project no matter what she's doing there's almost always a tiny tag in it somewhere 
So uh, I added that there. I added another enamel heart sticker here. I really love those heart stickers. Basically, if it's brightly colored and shiny, I love it. It goes in the cart, no matter what it is. If it's bright and shiny, it's in. I love it. So I have another acetate page here, and this is probably going to glare really badly, but it's pink acetate this time. And I added some more uh, heart stickers and hearts everywhere. In this adorable rainbow lots and lots of love everywhere in the room i only added this little envelope sticker here because i didn't want anything else to show uh, through the acetate so it's hidden behind the sticker there another gorgeous gorgeous paper from doodlebug and i added another envelope with another teeny tiny tag i love a pale aqua teal color just so cute and pretty and gorge and a rosy studio puffy sticker that says so loved this is one of my favorite doodlebug papers ever it's a really, really old collection and I have precious little of it left. So, you know, I cut with care <laughs> to use it in this album. I had some more puffies here and then these gorgeous, adorable little love bugs on the back page and another puffy. So that's the larger one. So let me show you the small one. And this is the teeny, teeny, tiny one. <laughs> it's just adorable. It's so cute. I was kind of limited here what I could do because it's so small. There's not a lot of uh, layering or envelopes or pockets or anything like that going on inside. But it's just super cute. I did the same thing with the cover. I didn't laminate it. I just added an acetate uh, overlay to the cover. And this adorable cabochon from Ali and some more heart stickers. Well, super, super cute. I'll just show you the pages. Um, this adorable little guy, the Mail Express. Super, super cute. Oh, doodlebug. I love it. Another heart sticker here and another uh, acetate page here. Red one this time. Those stamp stickers. How adorable. Oh, super, super. Oh, a plain page. A plain page, Carmel. Oh, my goodness. What happened there? Another acetate page. This is Fussy Cut. This is a Love Express truck. I don't know if it's going to just glare or if it's going to be able to see it. But just super adorable. I just Fussy Cut it from. It's, this is from one of the borders in the 6x6 pad, I think. Um, but I just thought it was super cute. Added that in. Another XOXO heart sticker here. These Love Mug stickers. How cute are they holding their little hearts in their hands. Just adorbs. And a cute little envelope. Another one of those puffy hearts. And uh, that's the end of that one. That's the little one. And for both of them, uh, to bind them, I just added uh, eyelets and some jump rings. And in this one here, I added an extra little red chain uh, so that I could add a dangle. I added one of these envelopes from Ali and some red heart beads as well. But super, super adorable. So those are my mini albums for today, guys. I hope you like them. And I had so much fun making them. I do love to make mini albums and I don't make them nearly enough they are very time consuming now these didn't take a huge amount of time but uh any of you who make mini albums know how much of a labor of love they can be you know when you get into measuring and and uh especially if you're not using dies like this like dies kind of help you to cut corners a little bit when you're making albums but um i did have a lot of fun making these and of course any excuse to break out the doodlebug paper and go to town so uh, i did so thanks so much for watching guys and uh, i also just want to say uh, thank you to all of you as well because i had a bit of a little bit of a wobbly week last week it's been a wobbly couple of weeks to be honest but um thanks so much for all the love you sent me last week guys i really do appreciate it i got so many lovely messages and emails from you and i was overwhelmed it warmed my heart completely i really do appreciate it so thank you you're just a beautiful community here on youtube and it's an absolute privilege and a blessing to be part of it so thank you I also have to apologize because uh, on Saturday, some of you may have noticed I sent lots of messages to people wishing them a happy Valentine's Day and a happy Valentine's weekend because uh, Saturday was the 14th and uh, our Carmel got it into her head that it was February. So <laughs> I'm sure some of you are probably thinking well, they must do Valentine's differently in Ireland. You know, they must celebrate Valentine's Day in January in Ireland. But no, we don't. Nothing wrong with the calendar. It's just something wrong in Carmel's brain at the moment. <laughs> I just got it completely wrong. I think I just had a bit of a tough week, you know, and you know, lots of driving and lots of stuff going on. And by the time the weekend came around, I think my brain had just left the building. You know? <laughs> so that's the explanation for that, guys. It's uh, Valentine's Day is, as far as I'm aware, universally the 14th of February. And uh, Nothing wrong with the calendar, as I said, just my brain was not screwed on properly on Saturday.
But on the plus side, I did get to catch up with a lot of your videos at the weekend. So that was great. I'm still not fully caught up with everybody, but uh, I'm blown away with the projects that you guys come up with all the time. Just so much inspiration out there. And I love that about YouTube. And I love being part of that as well now that I'm posting my own and sharing my own craft. But I can't wait to see more of all of your makes for the coming year. And I'm also super excited about my own channel and sharing more of my own craft with you guys. I have some plans and some ideas in mind for my own channel here on YouTube. So that's it for this one, guys. And a thank you again to our wonderful host, Gillian Norwood, who hosts Satmore Makes here. And a reminder, if you haven't already visited Jill's channel, do check out her channel over there on Greenwood Girl Cards and show her some crafty love. If you do like this video, I would very much appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me and it helps me to grow my channel here on YouTube. And also feel free to leave me comments or drop me an email. You know, I love to chat craft with all of you. So uh, feel free to leave me comments down below. So take care out there, guys. Thank you again for watching and I will chat to you all in the next video. Bye bye.